what did Iris do to you? I colored her. You colored on her? Yeah. Why did you do that? Because I love her. Because you love her, but you're not going to do that again, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. She's busy giving the cats treats. So what's going on guys? I am flying solo today. Well, kind of. My dad is here, but John is out of town filming some fishing videos. So dad stopped by for the day. We're gonna have some hors d'oeuvres and lunch together. How is that coffee? It's good. Yeah? Dad brought this uh, Blue Mountain coffee that he says is really, really good. I guess I'll make myself a cup too. I need a little extra caffeine today, if you know what I mean. Oh, you gave some cat food to boobers? Yeah. Well, my dad came bearing gifts again, so we got some yummy hors d'oeuvres to make, and then um, some stuff that we can put in the freezer, along with other things that we already put away. Iris is going crazy. So we think Iris has a little bit of cabin fever. It's winter, we haven't been going out too much. The flu is also really bad in Minnesota to the point where it's very, very scary. And so we haven't been actively pursuing like large groups of people and going to kids' places and stuff like that. And um, you know, Iris keeps asking me to do stuff and yeah, she says like she wants to go out and go places and I feel really bad, but I think I'm she's just getting a little Daddy. stir crazy. I'm watching the dragon movie. You're watching what? I'm dragon watching movie. the dragon movie. The dragon movie? Yeah. Oh, is it a good one? Yeah. What's it about? It's about, it's about dragons. Oh, the dragon movie about dragons, huh? Yeah. Do you want to take a picture of it? <laughs> Ooh, wow. Look at that, broccoli and cheese veggie tots. I wonder if that's a good way to get Iris to eat vegetables. Yes. Yeah, well if it'll be hidden. Sometimes it's not fooling her one bit, <laughs> but. <laughs> well we try, we yeah, try. It was worth a try. Yeah, there's this recipe to hide squash in macaroni and cheese, and I thought it tasted really, really good. And I, I gave it to Iris, she takes one bite, she's like, this doesn't taste like macaroni and cheese. <laughs> How dare we sneak something nutritious into it. How is it? No, take a picture of Lola. Take a picture of Lola? Yeah. Are you the director now? Yeah. Well, I see Thor down there. Where is Lola? Put in the, put the living room. In the living room? Yeah, there. <laughs> she's, the, she's the director now. <laughs> You're the director? What are you directing? She's telling me to go in the living room and film Lola. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think these are so good. My dad brought over these cornbread toasties. They're delicious. But he brought this like gourmet honey butter. Have you tried that honey butter that you brought? Oh, that's like the best honey butter I've ever had in my life. It's so good, isn't it? Yep. I don't know what they do to it. And it's, it's healthier for you too, right? Because it doesn't have sugar in it. It's, it has... made, it's made in Minnesota too. Oh, it is? Yes. Ooh. Local honey, it'll help with my allergies. Just like that honey I brought, that basket honey I bought for you is Minnesota made too. Oh yeah, have you heard that before? That uh, if you eat local honey from bees, local bees, that it helps with allergies? Mm. Cause uh, you know, they make it from all the pollen that's around and it like, it doesn't help you obviously if you buy honey that's mass produced and it's from somewhere else. Last year now I had, I had a lot of honeybees in my garden last year. Mm -hmm. But I put flowers out for them, you know. I put honeybee flowers out. Oh, and butterfly good. Flowers out. Were they not coming around for a while? Oh, there were years you never saw them, maybe. Oh, really? I, I know they're they're endangered right now. But. Well, you know what? They're downtown now, in the top of some of those hotels. They have they have bee gardens up there. Oh yeah. And then they harvest the honey. And like you go and stay at one of those hotels downtown. Oh, they make it in the hotel. They make it in the hotel. Oh. And then and when the guests leave, they give them a little jar of honey as a souvenir. Oh, that sounds nice. Do you know which hotel does it? I don't know if it's the Radisson. This one right down by uh, uh, the Minnesota Orchestra. Oh. Well, I know in California, you would see bee houses when you hike. Like they started putting bee houses up in the mountains and yeah. stuff. But We used to have them on the farm. Oh, yeah. 
I, I went running by a bee farm this summer and I got stung by a bee right here. I think I made a vlog about it. I, was, I, told I, was, you, I told you about that tree we had out in the farm in Wisconsin. <laughs> uh uh. I thought I told you about oh, that. Oh, where you'd get honeycombs yeah. when you were a kid? Yeah, because it was a great big tree and it had a hole in the middle. But they wouldn't sting you? No, I'd go up there. As long as I didn't move fast, I'd go up and sit on that limb. Wow. And just put my hand in real slow mm -hmm. and take out one comb of honey and then get off the tree and eat it and the bees wouldn't sting me. I'd they be got too used scared. to me, you know. I appreciate bees. Like, I know they do a lot for this planet, but I am really scared of them. No, I, I, love, <laughs> I love bees, honeybees anyway. I don't like the killer bees, but the honey, honeybees are great. Yeah, well, I just, yeah, I don't like getting stung. That's no fun. So when a bee lands well, on me, I run around they only screaming. They sting you to protect themselves, you know. But I wasn't doing anything to it. Well, they thought you were. Well, I, I wasn't, I was just it's minding just like, my own business. Like a wasp, you know, a wasp won't steal, sting you unless you get you step on them, like you get those those, uh, yeah. those uh, what, do you, what do you call them, earth moths or tunnel moths. Mm-hmm. Uh, moths, uh, wasps. Wasp, yeah. But, uh, I know what you're saying. But a lot of times when I'm out cleaning fish or cleaning the pheasants that I get sometimes, the wasps will come and get on my hand and walk all over it and they won't sting me. Well, this summer, I was, you know, I was just running and the bee ran into me. I was going straight and he T-boned me in my temple and then well, he just stung me. Well, he's up in the air where he's supposed to be, flying around, and you got in the way. I but got in the way. You betcha you got in the way. I had the right of way. I was going straight and he was trying to cross well, the street. Well, which way was the wind coming? He's following the wind. <laughs> he shouldn't have done it, that's all I'm saying. Tally-ho! <laughs> where are you riding to, kid? To another town? Yeah. To Thor's town? No. What did you say? Dogtown. Dogtown? Yeah. Hey, there's a movie called Lords of Dogtown. It's a real movie, Iris. Mm, okay, so we just made these lobster pate hors d'oeuvres, croissantinis, hey, I think that's what it's called. Whoa, that is quite the yell, kiddo. They're very stylish. Yep, I do want to take a picture of them. They're on the wrong feet, though, hon. You want to take a picture of Lola? <laughs> Where is she? Where is that Lola? Oh, hi, Lola. All snuggled up and comfy. You love to be comfortable, don't you? So, Iris is in bed, and she's sleeping with Lola. But Lola was a little upset because she wants to be with you. Hmm. <laughs> you could tell Lola didn't really want to take a nap. She's like, I need to be where the action is. He might have more treats in his pocket. Right, big dog? Did you get a lot of treats today? A lot of milk bone? Yeah. You look like you're having one of those food comas you get after Thanksgiving dinner. All right, so we're having some chicken noodle soup for lunch. I feel like a couple of kids. Do you feel like a kid right now? Mm -hmm. Having a, you know, lunch at the kitchen counter? <laughs> yeah. Soup, on a nice cold winter day. Yeah. Bless you. All right, so what are we gonna make, Iris? Play-Doh! We're gonna attempt to make all natural, homemade Play-Doh, but this might be an epic fail. <sighs> You're gonna eat that? Mm. That will give you really bad diarrhea. That's Epsom salt. So that's one ingredient I'm substituting for. You're supposed to put regular table salt in it, but I only have sea salt and that's kind of expensive, but I have a bag of Epsom salt, so we're gonna try to do that instead. So you can go ahead and dump that in. We also have no food coloring, but if all if this video fails, you know what? She's gonna have fun just stirring things up in a bowl. So that's what we're doing for cabin fever, right, Iris? Yeah. So then we need one cup of flour. So we're gonna do one. Dump it in, dump it in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dump that in the bowl. Hey, hey, hey. It's four cups, or well, one cup of flour but four, one, four. I can do it, I can do it. I can do it. What, scoop it? Yeah. Okay, if you want to do it that bad. Here's another one. 
Ooh, stir it around. How is it? Is it turning into Play-Doh? You think it looks like Play-Doh? Oh, very cool. Now we'll play now. What? Play-Doh now. Play-Doh now? Yeah. Yeah, I think we can take it out now. Oh, there you have it. Oh, it's very sticky though. I mean, maybe it needs more flour on the outside. But I feel like I just made dough for bread or something. Maybe that's what all natural Play-Doh is. You just make dough that you could put in the oven and, and bake into a snack. But it, it sort of worked. But you can squish it. Yeah, we can still squish it. That's all we really need, right? We just need something to squish. That's a perfect little ball that you made, Iris. I mean, we always just throw Play-Doh out anyway, so I think this is a good way to make it, as long as she's entertained. You're happy with the, the thing that we made? Yep. We make all of my and her friend. Oh, we're gonna make all those guys? Yeah. So this is fun, yeah, totally works. And you could add food coloring to it, and uh, now I figured out Epsom salt works as well as table salt, regular salt. And she seems pretty happy. We found something to do today inside, right? Mustache. Mustache? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, maybe regular salt makes it not as sinky, because I just tried oh, to make a snowman. Salt. I know, it sinks down. I was making a snowman and now it looks like a pile of poop. Here, it can be the doo-doo emoji. <laughs> Well guys, I just got Iris in bed and I got a cat butt on my arm, but I am going to wrap things up. I decided to do a late night workout tonight, hence the get up, but uh... Simon, Simon, are you a vlog bomber? Do you like to vlog bomb? Do you like to be in the vlogs, little boober cat? So I got a late night workout in tonight. My dad brought over lots of really good food and I was feeling a little guilty. So I was like, eh, I, I better do a workout tonight. So I got that done and uh, John should be home any minute. He'll be in tomorrow's vlog or the, the next vlog that I post. He uh, said that he was coming back from Wisconsin tonight. So I was just gonna take a bath and watch some Netflix. I recently started watching Parenthood. You guys suggested it on my Twitter. I was looking for a new show to watch because I kind of, I don't know, I, I, I've watched a lot of shows and I was wondering what was another good one to watch. I started watching Black Mirror and, and you know, I like Black Mirror. Like, I think it's interesting, but it doesn't leave you feeling good when the show ends, you know what I mean? It kind of gives you like an icky feeling after you watch it. It's interesting and it makes you think, but you know, I, I was looking for some some shows that are, are more feel good. And uh, so I started Parenthood, which um, I love Lauren Graham, so I think I'm really gonna like Parenthood because I'm a huge Gilmore Girls fan. You know, like Gilmore Girls, would make me so happy. I'm really bummed that I watched all of Gilmore Girls because I think like that is the perfect example of a feel-good show to watch. So yeah, we're, uh, I just watched episode one and I'm gonna continue Parenthood tonight. Anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning into this vlog. Oh, and I was also gonna ask if you guys have any tips for indoor activities for kids, especially during winter time, so that they don't get cabin fever. Let me know in the comment section below some fun things that I could do with Iris. All right, thank you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and always remember that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah. Were you looking to say goodbye to the vlog? Did you wanna say goodbye? You want to say goodbye to the vlog now? <laughs>